Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. One of the most common questions I get asked that I wanted to help answer is how do I, how do I select my transformer? How do I know if my transformer is big enough? Or what size transformer do I need to run my lights? Uh, the good news is if you're on our website at lightingdoctor.ca, all our kits, we've figured that out for you. But if you're buying lights somewhere else or just wanna know, then it's very simple and I'll show you how to do that. So basically what you do is every light that you buy is gonna have a wattage. Um, whether it's two and a half watts, four and a half watts, five and a half watts, sometimes bigger. And all you basically do is you go and add those wattages up. So, I mean, I'm looking at my setup here. I've got a two watt, a two watt, another two watts. So I've got six watts of lights on the bottom here. Um, we've got this hanging light here. So that's six. These are each five watts. Uh, so six and five is now we're up to 11 watts. We've got another two and a half watts here. So let's call it three. We're up to 14 watts. And then we've got another five watts up here. So we're up to 20 watts with all those lights. So um, that gives you an idea with LED systems, how many lights you can actually put uh, together without having to go buy a super big transformer because they just, they use such a small amount of power. But anyway, we've got 20 watts here. And one thing you always wanna do when you're sizing your transformer is trans or size it 20% bigger than what you actually need. So if we need 20 watts, I would be getting at least a 25 watt transformer or more. Um, the same thing, if you got uh, five watt bullet lights, which are pretty standard and you've got 10 of them, that's 50 watts. You wanna size your transformer to at least 60 watts. And I won't get into all the uh, specificity and technicalities of that and CRI ratings and all that kind of stuff, but a general rule of thumb is whatever wattage you need, size your transformer 20% more and you're gonna be safe. Uh, the advantage again with LED that we've talked about lots before is that you don't really have to worry too much about voltage drop and all that kind of stuff. If you're running a system that you have more than 20 lights and you're running those lights out there, you know, 250, 300 feet away from the transformer, then that's something you want to consider more. Um, but if you're doing less than that, you're probably not going to have to worry about that. I'm not saying there's not going to be some voltage drop, but a good LED landscape light these will run anywhere from 10 to 15 volts. So even if you start off with 12 volts and you lose two volts along that, uh, that line because one light's way out there, that light is still gonna operate at pretty much 100%. Um, I can even uh, operate these individual lights off a nine volt battery so you can go around and test them and stuff. So um, that's how I know that they still work great so you don't have to worry so much about voltage drop. Um, but in a nutshell, that's how you go and size your transformer. So just remember, add up the wattage of all your lights, which it should say on all of them, add 20% just to give it that extra buffer, and then go and choose your transformer, wire them in, plug it in, and you're good to go. If you haven't seen our video on how to make your transformer Wi-Fi, I definitely suggest going and doing that. I'll just quickly uh, give you a heads up, but using that Weon Outdoor Wi-Fi timer is a very simple and easy way to go and do that at a relatively inexpensive cost. So hopefully that helped teach you how to go and size your transformer properly. By all means, visit us at lightingdoctor.ca or send me your comments and questions. I love hearing from you.